Greetings everyone. This is Sean Vandeveen back with another astrology video for you. It's great to see you all once again. Today I'm going to talk about a planetary placement that makes certain people quite rebellious and freedom loving. Yes, I'm going to discuss the qualities of Uranus and Sagittarius. The last transit occurring between 1981 and 1988. In my opinion, this is actually one of the best placements for Uranus, as it makes these natives question social hierarchies and the establishment. They are seekers of the highest philosophical truths about life. So pull up a seat, sit back, and enjoy this presentation. During the Uranus and Sagittarius years, it was an exciting time for many in the West to be alive. Growing up as a kid in the 80s, I couldn't wait to rush from my bedroom to the television set every Saturday morning to watch cartoons. Many timeless movies such as Back to the Future, Return of the Jedi, Police Academy, The Goonies, and The Terminator thrilled audiences all over the world. Musicians such as Michael Jackson, Madonna, Phil Collins, Bruce Springsteen, and Prince were all in their prime. These, along with countless other entertainers, continue to inspire the world to this day. For Uranus and Sagittarius natives, life is very much like an Indiana Jones adventure. They have an innate curiosity of foreign cultures and will dive deep to excavate hidden truths of the past. Quite often, they will live in countries foreign to their own. And after many years of living away, they'll come home to tell captivating tales of their experiences. To better understand Uranus and Sagittarius energy, we need to break it down. In astrology, Uranus is the planet of eccentricity, rebellion, freedom, technology, universal brotherhood, democracy, liberation, humanitarianism, and the future. It is personified by crazy people, the avant-garde, the latest gadgets, groundbreaking scientific discoveries, and predicting the future. Astrology as a subject is ruled by Uranus. The zodiac sign of Sagittarius, ruled by the mighty planet Jupiter, on the other hand, is one of freedom, religion, philosophy, higher truths, deeper spiritual meaning, and foreign cultures. So, whenever Uranus transits through the sign of the archer, we can expect individuals born under this influence to take unconventional stances towards established educational and religious institutions. Uranus and Sagittarius natives are eager to learn new concepts and ideas. Deeply spiritual, they connect to the divine without being influenced by religious dogma. They reject traditional means of worship and follow their own path to enlightenment. Uranus and Sagittarius is keen to overthrow archaic institutions that block the path towards higher knowledge and truth. They prize their independence and freedom. As much as they have the zeal to learn many subjects, they may prefer to do it on their own terms. To them, the confines of traditional educational systems such as high schools and universities, are stifled with bureaucracy, but often many still pursue higher education within these institutions. Due to their highly idealistic nature, Uranus and Sagittarius natives may be the type to openly lash out at teachers or professors over ideas, contradicting what they perceive as the real truth. They may deliberately defy established laws and regulations they believe repress the rights of society, often landing them into trouble with the authorities. Uranus and Sagittarius is very humanitarian and will fight oppression and injustice. These are the organizers of protests and online petitions, and they speak out against all forms of hate and discrimination. Their inherent optimistic outlook on life will take them far, but they must learn to curtail their extremely blunt ways of speaking to others who may get quite offended. Uranus and Sagittarius natives thrive in freelance careers, 
or jobs that require them to travel great distances. They make excellent teachers and scholars of any kind, and in blue-collar roles, excel as Uber drivers, truck drivers, and taxi drivers. Careers in travel could even do them wonders. In my personal opinion, Uranus and Sagittarius natives would make excellent airline pilots, flight attendants, or travel agents. In relationships, Uranus and Sagittarius often refuses to settle down with a single partner. To them, the exploration of other cultures is more important than family matters. But if they do decide to marry, they'll allow their partners to enjoy as much freedom as possible. Celebrities born with Uranus and Sagittarius include Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Scarlett Johansson, and Amy Winehouse. The tarot cards best representing Uranus and Sagittarius are that of the Fool and Temperance, both from the Major Arcana. The Fool symbolizes the intrepid wanderer, full of hopes, hoping to fulfill his dreams and seek new adventures. Many characteristics of Uranus are evident in this card. Temperance is a card of balance and enlightenment, values that embody the fundamental traits of Sagittarius. It's important to note that it takes Uranus approximately 84 years to complete one full orbit around the Sun. Therefore, it spends around seven or eight years in a single zodiac sign. The next Uranus and Sagittarius transit will occur again starting in 2065 and end in 2072. The current generation will question the status quo, with social media voicing their freedom of expression, thought, and conscience on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. They will aid to bring down outdated beliefs held for hundreds, even thousands of years in preparation for the age of Aquarius. So, this has been my take on the natal Uranus and Sagittarius energy. Be sure to check out other astrology videos I have. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Sean Vandeveen. Thank you for watching. Wishing you peace, much love, and namaste. Godspeed.